Hello, everyone. I'm Maziar Bahari, the editor of IranWire.com. We are really honored to have Mrs. Ray Goldfarb, nay Rachel Mutterperl, uh, with us. She's a Holocaust survivor, originally from Poland, and she's been living in the United States since 1947, I believe. Correct. 1947. Uh, the occasion for this interview, very quick interview, uh, is the comments by President uh, Ebrahim Raisi on 60 Minutes last weekend when he questioned the reality of the Holocaust. And he said that there are certain facts that, quote unquote, facts that uh, indicate that the Holocaust happened, which I believe is as ridiculous as saying that there are some facts that it's Dana, there is sun shining, there is blue sky, but we have to investigate it. So Ray, uh, let's listen to Mr. Mr. Raisi first, and then I would like to have your reaction to his comments. Do you believe the Holocaust happened, that six million Jews were slaughtered? Look, historical events should be investigated by researchers and historians. There are some signs that it happened. If so, they should allow it to be investigated and researched. So you're not sure. I'm getting that. You're not sure. So, Ray, uh, what do you think when you hear someone saying that he is not sure that the Holocaust happened, especially after all these documents have been revealed, people like you have testified, and I think the Holocaust is one of the most documented events in the history of mankind. What is your response to him? My response to him is that Areas that where the atrocities happened have been preserved by the governments where they happened. They did not conceal those atrocities. Perhaps he's not used to the fact that the governments acknowledge that there were atrocities. I think that is the, the highest proof that I can think of. Governments conceal things. And here you have governments who acknowledge it. Germany has very much tried to make up for it. The same for Poland, especially now when you see what Russia is doing to the Ukraine. And I have been born in the area that is now Belarus. And I know of the mass grave in our town where 3,000 Jews were buried, where I lost my whole family. What other proof does he need? I'm alone in the world. I've survived with my mother, but we lost everybody else. We lost our home. We were homeless. We had to run for our lives until we ended up in Italy and then emigrated to the United States and found a home and found freedom. What is I your like reaction it. when people say that they deny the Holocaust, especially leaders of, the, of different countries when they deny the Holocaust? What is your gut reaction, emotional reaction to Holocaust denial? My reaction is that people are brain dead. You know, the Bible says, if you forget something, let your right hand wither. I think if you forget the Holocaust, your mind has withered. That's so true. If uh, President Raisi had the decency of talking to you and asking you for about some of your memories of the Holocaust, 
what can you tell him? What do you remember of the uh, what you went through with your family? And I believe your brother Shlomo was killed by the Nazis. Could you tell us, tell him briefly about some of the scenes that you witnessed during the Holocaust and the aftermath of the Holocaust? My memories as a child are sketchy. I see things as if they were pictures, slides. I remember sitting in a very crowded space in hiding while people were dragged from our house and taken to death. I remember leaving my brother with a farmer family who agreed to hide him and the neighbors told the Germans about it for the receipt of 10 kilo sugar to barter his life for that. I remember the woman that sent my mother and I running because she knew that I would be taken away next. I remember hiding in corn during the day and moving on at night until we reached a larger ghetto. Some farmers helped us along the way, but they People there were so belligerent that she was afraid to hide us. How do you think uh, we can somehow, we cannot, I guess, get rid of anti Semitism and Holocaust denial? But what do you think? Uh, has to be done with uh, to somehow control anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial. Education, is there any way that you suggest to uh, at least reduce anti-Semitic anti feelings and thoughts and Holocaust denial around the world? Well, there are a couple of things. Most of the, most of the population has some sort of religion. As far as I'm concerned, everybody prays to quote unquote God. Doesn't matter in what form you think of him. Everybody bases things on the ancient Bible, happens to be the Jewish Bible. Whether it's the Quran, whether it's the Christian Bible, it all teaches the same lesson. It teaches love thy neighbor as thyself. It teaches compassion. It teaches understanding of others. Why should people hate each other so much? Those that have not learned from the past are going to be doomed in the future. Thank you so much. And at the end, if you had a chance to talk directly to Mr. Raisi, what would be your message to him? I would suggest that he visit the camps that were preserved by the governments who I'm sure are not very proud of them and explain why a government would preserve such a place. If not to learn from history, it should not repeat itself. I would also teach him compassion. All human beings have the same desire to live a life of freedom, a life of understanding others and being understood the same way. And if you wanted to choose one camp to take him and show him, what would you show him in which camp? I, I did not survive Auschwitz, but that seems to be the main place. But I would like to take him to my town and have him open up the grave where 3,000 people were shot to death. Well, Ray, thank you so much for this conversation. I hope that uh, Mr. Ray C watches this. And please uh, watch Ray's full interview with the Holocaust Museum. We have the link at the end of the uh, video. 
And you can visit uh, iranwire.com to see the rest of the uh, uh, material we have about the Holocaust in Persian and English. And thank you so much again, Ray, for this really illuminating interview. And I hope that uh, Mr. Raisi will be a little bit illuminated if uh, he has the time and decency to watch this interview. Thank you. I hope he makes the time. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. <laughs>